my motivational style is to move away from pain. My diet keeps me on diet is I don't want to have serious illnesses. I don't want to have what people have. So you need to find out what it is that you're motivated by. What motivates you? Is it do you do things to come away from pain and problems or do you go to pleasure? Most dieting problems are pleasure related. I gotta have the pleasure, I, I need the instant gratification, I've had a rough day, I wanna feel good right now. Mm -hmm. It's a moving towards pleasure. Yes. And that won't work when you're working on your diet. It just never, it's just, it's not a good strategy. So there are things in your life that you move away from. I don't wanna be in an accident, I wear my seat belt, I do things that keep me out of trouble. So what I want you to do between now and next week is go f figure that out. Sit down with yourself on a piece of paper for 10 minutes and go, what do I really fear? What am I really afraid of? What do I don't want to happen in my life? We need to take that strategy and incorporate it into your daily diet so that you can think about things during the times that you'd like to have something or you're reaching for something in the shelf, or you're, you're busy and you want to stop for a quick bite, you need to put that strategy ahead of your actions so that strategy curtails you, turns you another way. If you've known somebody with diabetes, or cancer, or any chronic degenerative disease, you will, you'll know their misery and pain. And if you feel it, that's how people get motivated doing this program is they, I don't want to do that, there's no way. And they cut everything off for themselves to do that. So your moving towards pleasure strategy is really highly active as it is in most people. And so we've got to replace that with a moving away from pain because you're going to eat your diet will change better when you move away from pain strategy. Okay? Does that sound reasonable? Well, you've not thought about it, and once you put it on paper, you can really see where your directions are that you're going. And, and so the cravings that people have, the out of control pe feeling that people have, that's their strategy, that they just gotta change. Mm -hmm. So all, all about strategy right now. So, so you know the diet, you know what you're supposed to do, and you need to set a start, kind of a restart, because you've been working on this for a while. Mm -hmm. And we need to set a restart time, like, for, okay, from here, and, and we're gonna do one day at a time, and then we're gonna do a week at a time, or a couple days at a time, and then a week at a time, and then a couple weeks. We're gonna spread it out. And if we have an event or an occasion or something that we don't have control over, then we're gonna get through it, and we're gonna start the next day back on track no sense of beating yourself up because that doesn't help you or anybody you just kind of go back into your old pleasure I don't feel good so I'm gonna eat what I want mm -hmm. just because I deserve it so no beating yourself up but just it's a one day at a time you go through the day and if it's a good day pat yourself on the back if it's not so good day say you know I'm gonna do better tomorrow plan your meals you know what to do before you get to the event that way it really cuts down on the pleasurable things you want to get into, get yourself caught into. Mm -hmm. So get back into planning, get back into preparing before you hit that next day. Okay. You good? Yeah. That helpful? Yes.